a dry rubbed ribeye with rosemary and Gruyere Yorkshire pudding, sauteed sugar snap peas with bacon and mint. Let's talk about the big meat. Ooh, that's big meat. All right. That's huge. That's so, <laughs> yes, it is. I mean, this is not for one person. We're going to put a lovely little rub on the outside of our meat. First thing I'm going to do is I am going to salt my meat. We really want to kind of be aggressive in seasoning the outside of this guy. So we're going to start to build our dry rub. One tablespoon of brown sugar, a tablespoon of the mushroom powder. I have peppercorns, which bring a definite spice and very specific flavor to the party. So by toasting and grinding the peppercorns, it really is going to give me a lovely like pepper forward right. flavor. I'm gonna do about a half a tablespoon of ground pepper because this is really pretty strong. A tablespoon of granulated garlic and this guy, I mean a pinch, <laughs> look at. Also a tablespoon of salt. Let's just get this all stirred up. Really get this guy nice and coated. Don't forget the edges. On my sheet pan, underneath my big roast, I am going to put a fine dice of carrots, onions, and celery. Mirepoix. Yes, very good. These guys are going to go on my tray. Okay. I'm just going to give these guys a little bit of encouragement. I spread them around, but kind of keep them sort of centralized under where the meat is going to be. I am going to throw this guy in the oven. I have to whip together a batter for my Yorkshire pudding. I have two sprigs of rosemary that I'm gonna coarsely chop. I have one cup of all-purpose flour. Okay, that goes right in there. One cup of milk. Go. I'm going to use a teaspoon of salt. All right, I'm going to put an egg in here. I have my Gruyere cheese that I'm going to put in here. All right, cheese is in there. I'm going to throw my butter in there, and then the only thing this guy is really going to need is my beef fat. Let's think about our side dish a little bit. Sugar snap peas, they have strings that run sometimes the whole length of these, sometimes just on one side. So you take a paring knife and you pull the string and then we can go right down the other side and it is so, oh, yeah. It's so satisfying when you can get the whole string in one shot. So salty boiling water. Blanche. I am going to saute my sugar snap peas in a little bit of bacon fat. I'm going to do a quick little mint chiffonade, make a mint stack up, then roll it up in long slices. Let's talk sauce. Mushrooms. I'm popping the stems out here. I'm gonna take these guys. I'm going to kind of give them a coarse chop and I'm going to throw them in a little saucepan. Some salt, some oil in right away. Let's throw in a clove of garlic. So throwing those in with my mushrooms. See what we've got going on? I'm going to slice these. So look at this. It's like, ooh, Jello. you only really use a veal demi-glace for sauces and things like this. So a little of this goes a long way. So. Let's go give a little, another check to our meat. We really can. All right, our steak has come out. We're gonna let it rest. But remember all these veggies that were in the bottom there? Mm -hmm. I want those. To prep our Yorkshire pudding pan in the oven. We want this guy hot. Let's add some water to this and then we're just gonna let it simmer. So it's gonna be like a mushroom sauce for our roast. Give these guys a little sprinkle of salt. So look at, we see the mushrooms are like looking nice and watery. So let's give them a... <laughs> we need a half a cup of rendered beef fat. All right, our pan in the oven, really hot, isn't it? Now, you wanna do this while this is hot. A little pool in the bottom, a few drops. 
Do not fill these um, muffin tins up any further than halfway. Now I'm just gonna give a tiny little sprinkle of cheese on the top of each one. So, in the oven. Okay, so some red wine in the bottom of my pan and we're going to reduce it. So let's just go ahead and sear my steak. Ooh. So is there a question that that pan is hot? No, not at all. No, all we're looking to do is just brown it on the outside. That's it. So we see, oh, oh. see the difference? See this? Oh. Yeah. That's brown food. That's yes. Brown food. All right, so, oh yeah, Ooh. baby. All right, now. Right? Mm. All right. So there we go. We're going to let it rest. I'm just coming down mm. the home stretch. Let's just finish up our sugar snaps, mushrooms. Let's cut the meat. Mm. Slice it, but keep it together. Slice. And now I'm going a bit on the bias, a bit on the diagonal. Slice it. Now. Look at my steak is cut, but I need to get it over there. Underneath, and we hold it all together. Transfer it, so then you can fan it out. Let's go get our Yorkshire pudding. Let me just pop out like that. So you can just do a couple around the edge. Yeah, let's get saucy. Let's just finish up our snap peas. A little mint in there. So I have a teeny bit of mint to finish on that guy. And voila, you feel like trying a, a bit of Sunday roast? Yes, please. Okay.